Hey guys, Joe Dezio back here. Listen, today we're going to talk about tiling on concrete floors and what mortars you should use for the concrete and the preparation itself. So when you first walk into a job, what you want to do is actually take a look at the floor and see if it's actually good enough for, to receive tile. What I'm saying is, like, especially new home constructions, like if they have drywall mud, they're dirty, make sure the floors are clean, scraped, get all that mud off because no mortars are going to stick to drywall mud or dust or dirt. So always make sure, number one, is make sure your floors are cleaned. And then second, if there's any paint whatsoever on a concrete floor, the paint must come off because the mortars just won't stick to the paint on concrete floors. For some reason, it just don't work. Your, your tile might last a week, then they're going to start popping, so you're going to blow and spend a lot of money that's going to be wasted if you don't get that paint on. So there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. If there's paint on the floor, the paint has to come off. Second of all, is um, if you need the floor to be clean, like say if there's grease and oils that were on the floor, or the floor is just way too dirty, what I like to do is give it an acid wash, and you can buy this um, muriatic acid anywhere. You can get it at Canadian Tire, Home Depot, Rona, Lowe's, whatever. And it usually comes in a bag like this. So what you're going to need is actually a, a, a mop bucket, like a commercial mop bucket and mop. Fill it up with water and put this jug in, just enough, because when you're mopping the floor, you don't want to wring the mop out, you just stick the mop into the bucket, pull it out and let the water go all over the floor and you wash your floor like, like so. And then make sure that you're going to see the acid in there, it's going to bubble a little bit and that's great, that's what you want to see, that means the acid's actually doing its job. And then when you get the floor all wet, then you can go ahead and proceed and then start mopping up the floor, wringing the mop out, getting that acid off the floor. And then after that, you want to do two washes of just basically clean water. So clean it once, clean it again, and you should be ready to go for tile and you have a good bond with your mortar to the concrete floor. So that's the main concern is, like I said, is uh, make sure your floor is clean and make sure the paint is off the floor if you have any paint whatsoever on the floor. Second, with the mortars is, I like to use a mortar that's actually good for wood and concrete. Don't just go with a basic cheap mortar that's just for concrete, because my thoughts and opinions on that is you're, you're just, um, you're, you're gambling on a problem that your floors might come up. So I've never used just concrete mortar for our, like sort of mortars that you can apply on concrete. I've always used the, the mortar that I could use on wood also. It might be a couple extra bucks, but you know, a couple extra bucks is better than blowing or um, yeah, blowing tons of money down the road on your tile and mortar and install and whatsoever. So it's better just to spend that couple extra bucks for a bag of mortar. Um, and the mortar I would like to use, like normally what I used to use a lot was um, Ultraflex 2, which is a Mape product. I'll post it on the screen here somewhere. And there's an Ardex X5 product, which is a really good product. I always liked using it because I could use it on walls and floors, wood or concrete. So that's one of my favorites is Ardex X5, but Ultraflex 2 is not actually a good product as well. Or if you're dealing with a larger um, tile, larger format tile, you'd want to get an LFT mortar, it's actually MAPE, it's just called LFT is large format tile mortar, that's also a great mortar to use as well. Other than that, and if you do have any cracks in your concrete floor, I would suggest just using the HPG product, it's probably one of the cheaper brands that you can get just by covering, so you don't have to do the whole floor, just get where the cracks are, and always remember, like, see this I believe is a 12 inch um, mesh, it's a fiberglass mesh. And you always want to make sure you get six inches on either side of that crack so you get good strong support on that crack. And you could just use a trowel and trowel apply this over the mortar or sorry over the fiberglass mesh and make sure it's covered. And just make sure it's nice and clean and flat. You don't want no ridges so just scrape it off with your trowel and make sure it's nice and clean because when it's hard it's hard to scrape off once it's dry. So other than that, that's pretty good. That's much. That's what I'd like to say about concrete floors. And like I said, you can go with an Ultraflex 2 mortar from the Pay or an Ardex X5. It's a great mortar, and that's actually from Ardex itself. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful to you, and move, you can move on to the next video. See you later.